Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm just going to show you five quick, easy and affordable meals for you and the family. We're really lucky that we have access to the company shop. It's a members only shop where they have surplus food and short dated foods, all super cheap. Brands range from Asda and Morrison's to M&S, Waitrose and Ocado. In this video, however, I have priced meals up at the retail cost, not what we paid. But you'll see we get things like a £12 M&S lamb rack for 99p. First up, we made this bolognese. I've never seen this beef, carrot and onion mince before, but it's one where it's already got your vegetables included. So it's super easy. You literally just add your chopped tomatoes and a few herbs and it literally tastes delicious. Well, Gav said it tasted delicious. I don't actually eat beef, uh, but I'd love to find something like this in a turkey mince range. So I'm just gonna add a square of tomato puree, some paprika and some garlic pepper. The pasta we've used here is quite an expensive one. So if you are wanting a cheaper alternative, just swap this to whole meal pasta, which would only be about 50p. However, this pasta we bought is £3.50. So yeah, very pricey. Of course, we didn't pay £3.50. We got it from the company shop. And voila, here we have it. So I've just got a pita bread with some garlic and pepper on and some balsamic oil and mozzarella. And then here is the protein chickpea pasta with the beef mince and some more mozzarella on the top. So this is the lamb rack that only cost us 99p but you can use a pork or a beef joint to make it cheaper or even a roast chicken and then the cabbage and leeks are Asda's which they'll have only cost us about 30p I think from the company shop but you just microwave those for two minutes. A little blob of butter, some herbs like garlic pepper, basil and mixed herbs for the mashed potato and then just some mint to go over the lamb. We also use avocado oil but you can use normal olive oil. However, I do recommend buying the avocado oil as it has a much higher cooking temperature, so it's safer for you to cook. All meats vary in the cooking durations and the temperatures, so rather than me putting it on screen, I just recommend looking at the pack that you've bought and you can see what the optimum cooking temperature and time is. So this is just ready chopped butternut squash from M&S. You can just buy a butternut squash which works out cheaper or just some sweet potatoes and peel them and chop them up in there as well. But like I said, we got this from the company shop. So this pack of veg only cost us 20p. So for the convenience, it's so good. But if you were to buy this from M&S, it would be £1.50 for the pack of butternut squash. If you like your mash watery, um, the butternut squash does have a much waterier finish than normal normal sweet potato does so if you like a thicker mash just add some sweet potato to it and make sure you drain it really really well. Next up, I just made sweet and sour chicken. So I used the Sherwood's reduced sugar sweet and sour sauce, which was on offer. Then I've just added a red pepper, an onion, and some chopped green chili, as well as some carrot battens, just for extra goodness in there. Sweet and sour sauce does come with a bit of veg, but I always like extra veg. If you love pineapple, you can also add tinned pineapple to this, but Gav's not a big pineapple fan, and the sweet and sour sauce already comes with a bit of pineapple. So, 
So first I'm just going to brown the chicken. Once the chicken's nearly cooked, I'm then just going to cook the veg separately and then mix them all together and just allow the chicken to cook a bit longer. The veg doesn't need as long, but if you cook the veg with the chicken, it goes a bit soft. It doesn't get that nice crispy edged. And of course some green chilies because it's never spicy enough. We love our spice, so we've just added those. These vegan spring rolls are four pounds for four. We got these at the company shop. We would never pay four pounds for some spring rolls. But you can get alternative ones. So as they do a vegetarian range for one pound for four spring rolls of a similar size. Then we just made this fish stir fry. So this actually made six portions. So the tuna we used was a free range fresh fish tuna, but I found an alternative at Iceland. It's only cheap. It's four pounds for 400 grams, or you can use the Asda, and you can use the Asda salmon. But uh, we got these really, really cheap at the company shop. I think these only cost like 50 pence each because they were going out of date. Then we've got the edamame bean and broccoli stir fry by Asda and the M&S aromatic vegetables now both of these kits were only 50 pence each from the company shop and the M&S one is normally £2.50 again just using some of the avocado oil when you buy the pure avocado oil it has a higher cooking temperature than normal olive oil but I couldn't actually get my hands on the full avocado oil so we had to settle for this one so I'm just gonna brown the fish just keep turning it with the spatula until it looks like this and now you're ready to pop your stir fry veg in. The stir fry veg only takes a couple of minutes. Depends how soft you like it. Gav likes it really soft, so I cook it a bit longer than what it says. Once this has been cooking for a little while, you can add some water in it as well, just to help the vegetables soften up. And then the katsu sauce, that only takes about two minutes. So I just drizzled that on over the top and mixed it all in for a further two to three minutes of cooking. And voila, your dinner is ready. So this one's super quick and super easy if you're not a big fish fan you can also swap the fish something like chicken or tofu Ah, oh, forgot to mention we've also got the rice noodles this just makes it go that little bit further so this meal is still in our fridge now I think it definitely made at least six portions And those chicken wings are delicious, but they are quite expensive at £2.50. So you can always just get normal chicken wings, the raw ones from the supermarket, pop some nice sauce on them and then just pop those in the oven instead. Last of all, we've got a Chinese fish curry. So this made about four portions and at two pound 10 a portion, that's really reasonable. Obviously fish is quite expensive. So if you want to make this cheaper, you can also use some chicken. That is definitely a lot cheaper than using fish. Once the salmon start to brown, you can then add the prawns. They definitely don't need as long a cooking. They literally are done within minutes, but I've just put this curry sauce on, which has also got some peas in already, but I did add some extra garden peas but I just forgot to film that bit and then these spring rolls were the Asda ones so these are just four for a pound from Asda and that's the end of our cooking video we hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and comment below or tag us on Instagram if you try any of these ideas bye